In this video, we're going to introduce the idea of simple half reactions. So we're studying redox, and redox stands for reduction oxidation reactions. So a redox reaction has both a reduction and an oxidation occurring at the same time. The reduction is the gain of electrons is reduction, so gain of electrons is reduction and the loss of electrons is oxidation so that's the loss of electrons is oxidation and oxidation sorry um, so we're going to worry about simple half reactions and so a half reaction shows the electron movement, so the gain or loss. Gain is where the electrons are a reactant. So if we have plus electrons become, then this is the ger. And if it is giving off electrons, then it's leo. So the ox electrons are a product. Um, but the half reaction shows the electron movement of one chemical species in a reaction. So here you can see I've got iron solid becoming iron three ions. And so this would not be a complete reaction. This is only half of the reaction. And what we do is um, we need to balance both the number of atoms and the charge because in any balanced half reaction, both the charge and the atoms are balanced. In fact, in any reaction, both charge and atoms are balanced. So here I've got iron becoming iron three. This side has zero charge and this side has a positive three, char or three positive charge. So my rule is add electrons to the most positive side. Um, most positive, as it seems like an odd way to say it, but it'll become obvious in a second why we say that. So obviously three positive is more positive than zero. So I'm gonna add the electrons here. This side has zero charge. This side has positive three. So I need three electrons because if this is zero, three positive and three negative is zero. So zero net charge on both sides. This is a balanced half reaction. And since the electrons are a product, they're losing electrons. So it is an oxidation half reaction. Iron is being oxidized to produce iron three and three electrons. The next rea half reaction, I've got chlorides becoming chlorines. Now I have to balance both the atoms and the charge. So I'll balance my atoms so now i've got two chlorines and two chlorine atoms but here i've got two negative and here i have two positive and i said i add the electrons to the side that's more positive this has zero charge this is two negative this is more positive so i add electrons to this side to equal this side so two negative zero plus two negative these are bo now balanced in both the number of atoms as well as the net charge right two negative and two negative and keep in mind that two negative is not as positive as zero. Again, electrons are a product, so it's losing electrons and it's oxidized. So chloride ions are losing electrons and are oxidized. My last example on this page has calcium ions becoming calcium. So two positive, zero charge. I have to add the electrons to the side that's more positive, which is gonna be the side with the two positives. And I put two electrons because this side is zero and now it's two positive and two negative is zero. But in this case, the electrons are a reactant. So the chlor or the calciums are gaining electrons, so they are reduced. So it's ger. And sort of the lame statement is ger or leo ger. Leo the lion says grr, like, a, 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 like I guess a lion. Um, but anyhow, you're, you're going to see leo and ger so frequently that um, you will not have any problems remembering it eventually, but we have to practice it. I put that down for every time. Now, I'm gonna take this and we've done net ionic equations. So if I was to do the net ionic equation, this is manganese ions plus two nitrate ions. Oh, I should balance this probably. I've got three nitrates here. So I need two of these, two of these, two of these, and three of these. So I have two manganese twos and I have uh, six nitrates and I've got three scandiums becoming two manganese solid plus two scandium threes 
plus six nitrates. And we did net ionic equations. We can see our nitrates are spectator ions. So we're gonna cancel them out. My net reaction would be two manganese two ions plus three scandiums make two manganese solids plus two scandium ions. And scandium has a three positive. So this would be my net ionic equation. We've dealt with that before. But now we're gonna talk about what's happening to the manganeses compared to the scandiums. So my half reaction has manganese two ions are going to become manganese solids. And since this is two positive and this is zero, this side is more negative or more positive. So I add my electrons. And if I put two here, two positive, two negatives is zero. So they're equal now. And since this is the gain of electrons, the electrons are in my reactants. Manganese two is gaining electrons. It is reduced. If I have my scandiums, scandium solid is gonna become scandium three positive, AQ. And this side is more positive, so I add electrons to this side, and so I get three electrons here. And so now I've got zero and three positive, three negative is zero. This is losing electrons oxidizing. So scandium is oxidized, manganese is two is reduced. And before you get excited, I didn't use the coefficients here because literally if I went from here, I can see I've got my manganese two ions becoming manganese and my scandium solid becoming scandium threes. Nitrates are uh, going to be spectators. But I can balance here these two half reactions if I recognize that if manganese is gaining electrons and scandium is losing electrons, the total number of electrons have to be balanced. So if this is two and this is three, if I multiply this by three and this by two, I'll have six electrons gained and six electrons lost. I've balanced these two half reactions using electrons. So three times the manganese plus two times the scandium makes three manganese solid plus two scandiums. And you'll notice that this is the same reaction, except here I balanced it using electrons. That's gonna become helpful if we can appreciate that we can use electrons to balance it when we're using our data booklet with reduction half reactions. Um, so this is kind of a, a bit of a longer video, but it's really a key starting point for understanding redox reactions and uh, you'll be practicing this.